Welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. The U.S. saw strong job growth in December. The Labor Department says 292,000 jobs were created. That was a lot more than most economists expected. The unemployment rate held steady at 5 percent. Economists don't believe the unseasonably warm December had any impact on the job market last month. Small cap stocks are faring better in this week's stock market sell-off than the big caps are. In effect, 15 large cap stocks are already down at least 10 percent for 2016. Now, that doesn't mean small caps are doing well, though. Down five of the last six days, companies tracked by the Russell 2000 index slumped 2.7 percent, falling below a level reached in September and trading at the weakest versus the Russell 1000 in six years. Large speculators are wagering on more pain, boosting short sales of the group to the highest since October of 2014. Well, media generals should be familiar with soap operas. The company operates 71 television stations across the United States, but it is having a difficult time climbing out of a particularly tricky merger and acquisition love triangle. Media General said it had negotiated a deal in which Nexstar would acquire it for cash and stock for about $2.3 billion. But the agreement with Nexstar does not matter yet because Media General is still bound to Meredith. Meredith's terms prohibit Media General from being acquired until their own merger agreement is terminated. And Meredith is holding on. Well, BlackBerry is going all out on the Android phone. The company plans to release one new product and potentially a second phone this year. Both will run on Google's mobile software, according to CEO John Chen. It's bittersweet news for diehard BlackBerry fans, a shrinking but fiercely loyal group. Yes, BlackBerry will continue to exist, but won't offer any phones running on its own BlackBerry 10 software. Well, lots of small cap companies making news today. Here's a look in today's small cap wrap. Barracuda said its third quarter earnings missed estimates. Cirrus Logic's preliminary revenue trailed estimates. Container Store says sales came in below four Forecast. Helen of Troy earnings and revenue beat estimates. Synergy Resources reported a first quarter loss, and Urban Outfitters holiday sales were down 2% year over year. Sun Edison, a solar manufacturing company, fell 35% on Thursday after the company announced it intends to raise money and restructure its debt to pay back $738 million. Now you may be thinking, debt reduction, that's a good thing. Well, like many things in life, the devil is in the details. And in order to raise this money, Sun Edison will be restructuring old loans at a much higher rate and issuing a bunch of stock. Investors' worst fear about the stock is real. Sun Edison is cash poor. And weak third quarter earnings caused shares of the container store to nosedive nearly 17 percent. The company's full year guidance also had bad news. TCS now expects consolidated net sales to be between 785 and 795 million. That's down from previous predictions of 800 to 815 million. Beauty products maker Avon Products said it would cut some global IT jobs after hiring Hewlett Packard Enterprise to run some of its tech operations. Avon, which expects the program to be completed by the end of this year, did not specify how many employees would be affected, but the company did say it expects pre-tax savings of 10 to 15 million a year beginning in 2019.